just got home from Germany. My base transfer has been officially submitted. I will be a base flight attendant. Hunter Lee Haas stamp of approval. Things are happening, things are going on. Just got to Orlando. It is so late. 1.58 in the morning. I have my healthy dinner of chips and a Gatorade. Love that. Good morning, Orlando. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. I'm in Orlando right now. This is my first time laying over in Orlando since I was based here. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit emotional last night when I got here. I don't know why. I'm so, so incredibly happy at my new airline. But there's always gonna be a piece of me that stays with my previous airline. And if you didn't know, I was a flight attendant for almost five years before I came to this airline last year. And I was based in Orlando for the majority of that time. So it's a little bit sad. I really don't miss being based in Orlando because it was very crazy tons of people everywhere but it's all good I did just get a call while I was vlogging <laughs> or about an hour that my flight is a little bit delayed today nothing major today is day three of a three-day trip I didn't vlog the first two days because it was really crazy day one I worked a double red-eye Houston to Portland Portland to Washington DC so a very long night I didn't get to my hotel until 8 o'clock and then yesterday I just had a day layover so got to my hotel at 8 a.m. was on the plane by 8 p.m. last night just a lot of things going on very hectic very fast I didn't have time to pick up the camera so I wanted to pick it up now and start today's vlog we have a lot to unpack in this vlog. I will talk more about that later in the vlog. I have some semi-exciting news. Things are happening, things are going on. So we will talk about that later, so make sure you stay tuned. Today I have two legs. I'm working from Orlando to Chicago on the 757, and then Chicago to Houston, back to Houston on the 737. So that's my exciting day. I'm going to start getting ready now. I have stuff just everywhere, all over this room. I was editing, uploading vlogs, camera equipment, cords, chargers, the whole nine yards. Spread across this room, I need to clean up hop in the shower and then head over to MCO. I'm definitely gonna miss this bed. Hey y'all, so it's the next day now and I am commuting back home to Tampa. I just got to the airport. I'm waiting for the employee bus. I haven't seen it yet. I try to wait in my car until I need to get on the bus because it's super hot outside right now in Houston. It's 84 degrees. Going home for a few days and then I have to commute back because I have one day of reserve. And not sure how that happened, but I have one day of reserve and then like three or four more days off. Before I go into the airport, a few vlogs ago, I showed you these masks I got from BNX and I told y'all I would update you on whether or not I give them the Hunter Lee Haas stamp of approval. And I'm pleasantly surprised and happy to tell you that they've passed the Hunter Lee Haas wear test. I've been wearing these on my last few trips and they're really comfortable. Uh, I have a lot of trouble finding a mask because I have a really big head, but this one is really comfortable. It fits really nice. A lot of the times my ears start to hurt really bad from the strings, but these have actually been really good. I have to wear a mask up to 16 hours a day sometimes so if I'm wearing a mask it has to be comfortable I definitely would recommend ordering some masks if you are traveling anytime soon especially on an airplane I know there's a lot of places and cities across the United States where you don't need a mask however though you do a hundred percent need a mask on airport property and on the airplane if you guys want to check them out they are a local company right here in Houston Texas all right y'all here comes the employee bus I think I'm gonna miss it now that's okay we'll wait for the next one but I'm gonna head into the terminal and I will see y'all when we get to Tampa
just landed in Tampa. I'm gonna wait for John to come pick me up now. I'm so excited because the flamingo is here now. If you guys don't know, Tampa Airport is getting a 21 foot flamingo put right in the center of the airport. It was created by an artist named Matthew Mazzotta, Matthew Mazzotta maybe. And like I said, it's 21 feet tall. It is huge. They're gonna make the ceiling look like the flamingo is coming out of the water and it's gonna be great. I can't wait for the ceiling to be done so it can be finished. This thing is massive. I don't know if I've talked about this with y'all yet, but John actually just got home from Germany. He got a trip to Frankfurt, so I'm gonna insert some clips from his trip. He had so much fun and I was so jealous that I couldn't go with him. I cannot wait, we do Frankfurt out of Houston, but it's very, very, very senior out of Houston, so I don't know if I'll be getting it anytime soon, which leads me into my next topic, speaking of Houston. If y'all have been watching my vlogs for a while, you might know that my husband and I are based in separate cities. I'm based in Houston, he's based in Chicago, and the time has come. My base transfer has been officially submitted. I submitted my transfer to Chicago, and then I was so torn between if we both want to stay in Chicago, if we want to go to Washington, if we want to go to New York, what base we want to go to. But I think the best option right now, financially and just career-wise, would be for us to stay in Chicago for a little bit. We do have an apartment up there. Our house is here in Tampa, though, if you're new to my channel. We live here, have an apartment in Chicago for John on reserve, and I have a crash pad in Houston. We have this whole triangle of living situations. So hopefully when the time comes for my transfer to get approved, we can both be in Chicago together and then it'll be so much easier. We'll just have to go back and forth between Tampa and Chicago instead of Tampa, Chicago, and Houston on top of it. My transfer at the earliest will be approved for the month of July. That does depend on if the base is open at the time, if they're accepting transfers. It's all dependent on that. So there's no guarantee that I'll get my transfer in July, but fingers crossed. My goal is to have my transfer by the end of the year. So hopefully before 2023, I will be a Chicago-based flight attendant. But for now, we are still a Houston-based flight attendant. I love Houston, it's a great base. Once I get the international flying out of my system, once I kinda wanna go back to like a slower pace of things, I'll probably transfer back to Houston because the commute is very easy, the trips are very productive, very easy, and it's a great base. All right, y'all, enough talking. Let's go find John and let's go home. These are some of the souvenirs John brought me back from Germany. How sweet, he got me this magnet that says Frankfurt, a German theme keychain with an H for Hunter, and then a little German flag. So cute, so thoughtful. And then look how cute this magnet is. Mm -hmm. 